Hi, welcome once again to iCollect, the channel that features collectors and their prize collections. And in this channel, we feature collectors of anything under the sun, as long as the collection is unique, interesting, rarely seen and has got a story to tell, we will bring their collections to you. Some of these uh, collectors are serious collectors and some of them are just avid enthusiasts who have the passion to collect things of great interest to them. And today, we are at the home of one such collector who started this journey of collecting over more than 30 years ago. Oh, that's a long time. Mm -hmm. Of what is known in the collecting circle as the 567 Porcelains. Oh, okay. Yeah, without further ado, let's take a look at this collection. All right. Hi, I'm Huang. I collect 567 Porcelain. Welcome once again. Today we are sharing the private collection of Mr. Kwong who has kindly allowed us to showcase some of his personal pieces. So Uncle Tom, what exactly are 567 porcelains? Well, the 567 porcelains, as we were told, is actually related to the period in which these um, porcelains were being made. So we're talking about 1950s, 60s and 70s, after the establishment of PRC. And the state sanctioned uh, the the state-owned kiln to start firing and make these new porcelains and the masters were able to produce uh, these ceramic porcelains of exquisite quality that is on par with imperial standard and we are talking about imperial quality hence you know they are so valuable and so sought after now for example let's uh, take a look at this uh, beautiful piece and uh, the title of this piece is called Xin Cai Jing Yu Ping literally translated to uh, New Colour Goldfish Porcelain Vase. Now this is the, the work of the renowned master Zhang Jian, uh, who is known for his rich, extensive and sometimes eclectic uh, subject matter. Master Zhang Jian applied oil painting, watercolour, sketching and other techniques to ceramic colour painting, unlike the predecessors who only used monochromatic painting of porcelain. Yes, and in order to enrich the colours of the picture, he also pioneered multiple painting and multiple baking methods, which further developed and elevated the art of porcelain painting. What a truly beautiful piece. Hey Ayesh, let's take a look at this second piece. This second piece is a large piece, and this is by the late master Wang Yanquan, and uh, he's also known as the uh, landscape master. Okay. In fact, I would rather the king of my landscape. And look at this piece, it's actually his uh, well-known landscape painting vase. Master Wang's known for his majestic themes like this piece we are seeing here, a magnificent landscape painting. And he has personally described many mountains and wild sceneries in Jingdezhen and Leping. And these certainly, as we can see, enrich the source of creation for his landscape paintings. His creations are often praised for his clean and neat brushwork, as well as the use of bright colours and a soft and clear halo. Looking at it up close, we can clearly see why. Yes, indeed. Now we're looking at this little but very exquisite uh, teapot, and this is the work of Yu Wenxiang, and it's known as Yu Wenxiang Xue Jinghu. Master Yu Wenxiang is often regarded as the Snow King of Jingdezhen for his solid snow scene painting skill. His works have a natural layout and are very poetic. He found ways to express the vitality of spring in the cold and icy snowy scenery. He adopted the high and far composition method that was rarely seen in their predecessors, which was very ingenious as we get to see depth. Looking at this piece, you can see that he advanced the close-up, mid-range and distant views layer by layer in a well-organized manner yet full of changes. It looks harmonious, rich and unique. Everything here seems to move in the stillness of the snow-capped world. Oh, what an amazing imagery in a small little teapot. Hey Ash, now we're looking at a magnificent piece and this is by one of the late masters of the Tushan Ba Yu fame or the late eight friends of Tushan and this is the work of He Xuren and aptly titled as uh, He Xuren Xue Jing Bao Tai Pi Deng Master He Xuren was one of the most famous amongst the well-known porcelain painters in Jing Dezhen in the late Qing Dynasty and the early Republic of China This piece truly depicts his style and the exquisiteness of his brushwork this is an incredibly precious piece and a hardly seen work of art as we don't see a lot of his work available and if any, it is often snapped up by serious collectors. Well, this is a rare chance for us to appreciate the late master He Shiren's work in such close range. Amazing. Uh, five, six, seven, 
，是因为一直以来五六七词，它都被人家低估了它的价值。为什么会低估呢？就是在五六七的时候，他们是由国营磁场，呃，那时候中国还没有改革开放，然后就计划经济，他们出口的东西其实是低价的。到了九十年代的时候，国营磁场私营化，很多这些名家他们是自己开工作坊的，开工作坊之后，他们生产、他们出品的作品啊，都有一个市场价。那时候的市场价就比这些五六七。的名家他们所生产的低估了。后来，呃，大概在两千年左右，那些藏家或者是收藏爱好者开始了解到这个它的价值是被低估的。另外一个原因就是，他们也觉得自从国营磁场私营化之后，就表示中国千年来的所谓啊、呃、官窑，就是由由由官方指导的这个。那种瓷器生产的传统没落了，所以五六七他们也觉得是所谓历史上的最后的官窑。We've come to the end of today's episode of I Collect, and we hope you enjoyed the collection of Mr. Kong. It was very educational to learn about the five, six, seven porcelains, and we hope that we kickstart your interest in learning about these porcelains, and maybe kickstart your own collection at home. Yes, indeed. And if you like today's episode, uh, do give us a like. And in fact, we do have uh, an extended 10-minute version of today's episode. And if you would like to watch it, leave your request in the comment section below. And uh, the moment we receive 100 requests, we will post that extended video for your viewing pleasure. And if you are a collector at home and you want us to feature your unique collection, do drop us an email at this email right here below. We would love to hear from you. So watch out for our next episode. Till then, Thanks for watching and bye.